YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing Police Simulator Patrol Officers. This is a new police simulator game that is coming out on the 17th, and I do want to thank the dev for sending me an early copy and a sweet little uh, VIP box of police goodies. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble with these. But yeah, this is a full-blown police simulator. I'm really excited for this. This has been on my radar for a while. And yeah, you have to kind of work your way up, so we're going to start here. Uh, by selecting a shift. I've done one shift ahead of time just to kind of get a feel for the game So if you look on the left side, you can see that we're gonna be basically just doing parking tickets because that's all they trust me with But once we start leveling up, we'll start getting uh, access to new things. We'll get the radar gun next uh, You can see that we'll get some call outs uh, for minor accidents after that and then we're eventually gonna work our way down to new areas and the patrol car. So it's gonna take a little bit before we get a car and we can run around with that. But we're gonna go take this shift. If you guys wanna see more of this on the channel, you know what to do, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel and let's do this. All right, here we are at the station. Uh, we're gonna call this lady over here, Karen. Karen, we'll be back. Uh, we've gotta go out on patrol. So here, let's exit the building and uh, here we are in the city. So you can see in the top left corner, we've got our shift. I think we work till like 3 p.m. And then we have to return to the station. But yeah, our objective right now is to write a bunch of parking tickets. Now we can still interact with people. Earlier, I pulled aside somebody for jaywalking and I had to question them. I had to search them because their uh, pupils were dilated. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. But yeah, another thing is you have to follow the rules. Like say for instance, if there's a red light here and you don't have a signal to cross, you can't do it. You've got to wait for the green. Uh, if not, you'll get deducted points and oh, that was almost an accident there. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Uh, there will be accidents once we get around to them in the city and they're all kind of randomly uh, generated. And yeah, you get to respond to those. So I'm hoping to unlock all that soon, but we've got some rookie work to do here on. Let me put my thinking cap on. There we go. Nice. All right, so we have our first offender of the day. So as you can see down here, we have a lot of uh, parking meters. There isn't a parking meter here. Plus they're really close to the uh, the crosswalk here. So we open up our menu. Let's go to parking tickets and we're going to go to too close to crosswalk. So we'll go boom. And we're gonna get our little ticket book here and we're gonna write a ticket and boom, you'll see some points. And then we can get the details for it. And it says justified close to crosswalk parking ticket. So everything you do, it needs to be justified. Like you can't go around all willy nilly writing tickets. All right, so we're gonna check the next vehicle here. So as you can see, it's valid as far as the, uh, the meter. And then we can also check license plates. So if we focus down here, you can see April 21. Well, in the game, it's a uh, 5520, so. Uh, it's a valid license plate. So another thing is we do have the uh, knickknacks. I've got my, uh, this is a stun gun here, but I do have a uh, service pistol. And then you can see some of the stuff that's locked, including like a camera for investigations, a radar gun, a uh, flashlight, which all that is coming in the uh, upcoming levels. So we're gonna have to play a bit before we uh, unlock some of that. But I'm hoping to have the radar gun uh, before the end of this episode. Okay, so I've spotted our next violation here. So when you're uh, parking at these, you need to be aimed with traffic and this one's totally against it. Uh, so we got a ticket there. Uh, is there a uh, valid plate on here at least? Hans, look at that. Yep, looks like 21, so we're good there. I don't think you would uh, tow this, but I think it's just a ticket itself. I have towed one vehicle and it was because it was parked way on the sidewalk. Like, not in the street at all. Okay, so let's go position alignment, and we're gonna go wrong direction. There we go. That's another ticket. Aha! By the way, we got another offender across the street. Is this a red light? Here, let's go to the crosswalk at least. Uh, check both ways. I don't wanna get smacked by a car. Oh, okay, we just ran out in front of that one. This is fine. But yeah, there's no light there, so I don't have to actually uh, wait uh, for a signal. All right, it's gonna be another one for the wrong direction. There we go. And we're gonna get some more points. So you can see the points in the top right. Uh, that's what you're earning towards to get your level up. Also, look at this. We just spotted a jaywalker. It, it highlights the first time you see something, even though I, I got a jaywalker uh, when I played previously, but they were really far away. But yeah, this guy's jaywalking. So let's uh, see what we got here. There, I'm gonna jaywalk right behind you. Come here, what are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, come here, that was illegal. So you can talk to people, so. Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and ask for their ID because of the jaywalking. So here we go. Your ID, please. Uh, there's no voice acting, but you can see the uh, the text in the bottom. All right, so what do we have here? So let's see, they have a gun permit on them, so there's a potential they have a gun. Uh, the driver's license isn't expired. Uh, everything looks good here, so let's give him that back. So he's appearing anxious. Now this could be a, a reason for us to frisk them. So we're gonna do a quick frisk. 
Now, the uh, the searching, if they have odors of, like, drugs on them or dilated pupils, you can do a full-blown search to make sure they're, they don't have anything illegal. But right now, we can only frisk, so let's go ahead and do a quick frisk here. There we go. And no items can be found. Okay. So there's really not much to do here. We can issue a violation uh, for jaywalking. And you know what? I'm feeling good today. I don't feel like I need to give this person a ticket. I'm, I'm feeling nice, so let's just give them a verbal warning about the jaywalking and yeah you just need to just walk on don't do it again i'm pretty sure they're gonna be really happy yep they're happy about that all right well you have a good day so yeah that's the interaction with a uh a pedestrian so right now i think that's the only thing i've seen somebody do wrong was uh jaywalking but you never know maybe we'll find something else on the shift here today all right so something really quick i want to show you guys you can see that the uh the little light's red so i cannot cross this if i cross this i lose points so as a police officer in simulation mode you have to abide by all the rules and then when we get our patrol car it's the same way we can't go willy-nilly running through red lights and speeding now the game does have a casual mode i don't know how much you can get away with in that mode i need to read it again but i wanted to play in full-blown simulation mode because you know i'm a and stuff wait a minute wait a minute look at this uh huh i need to cross the street here so there's no parking in this area and it's on tuesdays it's tuesday right now i need to go read the times on that that might be a no parking zone period so can i get across oh let's wait for this look how eager i am to go write some parking tickets all right hon let's read the sign here so it says no parking tuesday 8 a.m till noon hold on we can issue this ticket there we go okay so this is gonna be a no parking area you know, if this would have been eight minutes later or seven, maybe six, I couldn't have done this, but I did it. Wait, unjustified no parking. There's no parking from the. Oh, is it just this? Oh, it might have just been this area. So maybe it just counts for the spot. I don't know. I would swear that it's a Tuesday and I mean, it was before noon. Well, that's an example of bad police work. <laughs> All right, so I believe the shift is about to end at 4 o'clock. I thought it was 3 o'clock. Uh, we wrote quite a few tickets. Hopefully, this is going to make it to where we unlock the uh, the radar gun here. And, yep, we can just uh, go into here. And then we got to go log in on the computer, or log off, I should say, and end our shift. So let's go ahead and get on here and take care of this. All right, and boom. All right, so we did level up. So it's loading everything for the shift. So you're supposed to work five days a week. You can take a couple off days. So you just kind of make your own little schedule, which is kind of cool. I did lose some conduct points. Uh, essentially, that was a lot of me uh, running red lights. But we did unlock the radar gun. So this is going to open up some new gameplay options. And then we got a new callout type. So we can actually accept callouts. So it's a uh, report speeders. So that's pretty cool. And then it looks like we unlocked a new neighborhood. So yeah, look, we got a, uh, a new district up here. So this is a new shift. That is a foot patrol in the morning. And then we have another foot patrol over here. So I've got three more shifts I can play. I could take a day off if I wanted to, but I feel like I'm not ready for a day off. I want to go report some speeders. All right, so we are ready to report speeders. So I have no clue what I'm doing. So we're going to put our cap on here. I think maybe we might get call outs too for speeders, which would be kind of cool. And then, yeah, we can... Uh, equip this so the general speed limit unless indicated is 25 around here so how do i get people to actually stop uh there's a uh, pull over sign that's not unlocked but we've got this bad boy do i need to have like a partner or something or maybe we just actually call in the speeder and they get pulled over somewhere else because they don't trust us with the car yet so i guess we'll do this and our basic other duties and then maybe we'll actually unlock some accidents uh soon too but first, I can't help but give this person a parking ticket because you're aimed the wrong way, you dingus. Yeah, we need uh, as many points as we can get here. So there we go. Uh, it's going to be a justified ticket right there. All right. So if we were to post up for speeding, where would we do it? Maybe this street has a nice long straightaway here. So this might be the place to definitely do this. Oh, expired meter. Sorry. Got to do this real quick. <laughs> I'm a ticket writing machine. Okay, let's see how this doohickey works. So let's go ahead and equip the radar gun and grab it. Okay, and then... Oh. Okay, that was 39. Well, do we have a posted speed limit here? 39 would have been speeding, right? Yeah, everybody's going a pretty consistent speed here. That's 35. So it's got to be 35 through here. So I'm assuming anything over that is going to be a speeder. It's 38. 
Uh, so I tagged that one. Uh, so is that a reportable offense? Oh, let's try this real quick. Okay, so I'm thinking it's 35 through here. There's got to be a sign around here somewhere. So, man, this is easy points right here. 35. So eventually we're going to actually be doing the pullovers here, which would be kind of cool. 35. Come on, give me a big time speeder. I need some points. Uh, that guy on the inside looks like he's speeding. Uh, let's hit this one. Uh... 35. What about your buddy there? Ooh, that was 35. Come on, give me a big time speeder. Oh, that's 142. Report that one. There we go. So one cool thing about this uh, gun. Oh, that's a jaywalker right there. Oh, right across the street. Buddy, you did that right in front of me. So one neat thing about the gun is the whole fact that you have to be able to read the license plate when you take the picture uh, for the report. And yeah, uh, if you don't do that, you don't get to actually report it and you don't get the points. Oh, we got to talk to this person. Sarah, you just jaywalked. Go ahead and let me see that ID real quick. There we go. We have, what's your name here? It's a uh, Asher Baker. Baker Asher, one or the other. They do have a gun permit, so there's potential they have a gun on them. Let's go ahead and give him back. He has dilated pupils. Uh-oh. That is going to be a search. Let's go ahead and search you. Can we get our first arrest here? That would be kind of cool. Okay, do you have anything illegal on you? What do you have here? Car keys and dice. So nothing there. Uh, there's nothing much we can do. I mean, we were able to search them. No legal items. You know what? I've been really nice this episode. We're going to actually issue a citation. So here you go. Here is your ticket for jaywalking. Uh, he's probably not going to be happy about that one. You're ruining my day. Sorry, your, your uh, day was already ruined. Uh, you can go now. All right, so the shift's about to end. Let's see if we get any more speeders. This guy's speeding. Oh, yeah, got him and report it. Boom. All right, so this shift's about to end. I wonder if I have enough to get up to the next level here. Uh, we were a really good boy this shift, so I feel like maybe that's a thing and we'll be okay. Here, we'll put that away. All right, so we're almost there. Got a couple jaywalkers, did a couple parking tickets, but mainly we did our main objective, which was going to give us the bonus points, and that was the speeding. All right, here we are returning to the station. Let's go log out on the computer here, and let's see what happens when we end the shift. I'm hoping that maybe we unlock the next uh, level here. Okay, let's see. We got some shift points. Was that enough? Uh, did we get enough to maybe level up hey look we unlocked the camera so we've got our next little thing we can uh, get call outs for minor accidents so we're almost uh done here so once every neighborhood is unlocked in the district you get the patrol car so i don't think we'll do that this episode but like i said if you guys want to see more of this for sure we would get it in the next video all right so we're gonna play one more day here we're gonna take the uh, foot patrol up in the new neighborhood and then we got two more neighborhoods to unlock i'm assuming we're gonna get to play with the camera since that's a new thing and oh this is a nice neighborhood holy man i like this all right, so yeah, we have the camera. So this is for accident sites. So if we get a call out for that, we'll be able to go investigate. Cool. So it still looks like we need to use the radar gun here and report speeders, which this is an easy way to level up because uh, when they give you the bonus points for this, I mean, it's almost too good to be true. We got to find a good spot though. Uh, this street doesn't look like that spot. Uh oh, hey, look, uh, an accident. All right, hold on, let's accept this call out. Okay, so manage minor accident. Where is this at? All right. It's 220 meters this way oh look at this we look like we have a fender bender here oh dear all right so we need to interview people and we need to give an accident report so we need to be thorough about this we got two people here look at that i'm gonna say somebody slammed on the brakes right here and the other person just ran into the back of them like a ding dong all right so let's talk to the people first uh, i'm assuming this might be the cab driver here so let's go ahead and talk to them uh, let's go ahead and get their ID real quick, make sure we're all good there. And, uh, we need proof of insurance, too. Okay, there's our ID. Looks like, uh, no gun permits, not expired. Okay, looks good there, so we'll go ahead and give them that back. Were we supposed to get insurance there, or is that a thing? Uh, let's go ahead and let's interview them about the accident. She's still recovering and her mind is blank, okay? So you don't remember getting hit in the rear. It's not good. All right, we're going to give an alcohol test here because something's not right. You don't remember getting hit? Uh, that seems a little sus. All right, go ahead. Blow into that. Let's see what we get here. Uh, zero. Okay. So got to make sure you're not under the influence, so we have to do a drug test here too. Uh, how does this one work? Okay, so it's on the tongue. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Somebody was under the influence here. 
Is that why you don't remember getting into an accident? All right, we'll come back to her. Let's talk to this lady real quick. Let's go ahead and ask her about the accident. Still recovering. My mind is blank. Wait, does nobody remember getting into an accident here? Are you drunk? All right, let's go ahead and perform the alcohol and drug test here. I have a feeling both of these people were wasted. Okay, so this lady's got a little bit of alcohol in her system. I'm not sure. What is the legal limit here? All right, so it's 0 0.08. Let's do that again. So I'm assuming here they're below because it's 0 0.03. So they're fine there. Let's go ahead and do a drug test real quick. All right, this person's also under the influence. What? Oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and get the camera. So we need to take uh, photos of the accident. I'm assuming uh, maybe even the license plates. Is that a thing? Uh, let's get this out. Is there anybody else standing around here? Can somebody actually give me a detailed report as to what happened? All right, let's get this camera out real quick. Let me take pictures of the front end here. All right, so this is like the impact points. All right, so there we go. You got that. Probably need a picture of this side too. All right, so we got more damage on this side. Let's try to get all this into focus here. Boom. All right, this report is extensive. Hey, look at that. We're doing a good job here. I still feel like both these people should be arrested for uh, driving under the influence of drugs. Just saying. Okay, we got some more dings on the side. How did all this get messed up? Okay, we got that. Uh, any other things that we might have missed here? Oh, got some debris here. There we go. And let's check this side. Got a ding in the door. All right. I feel like we've about covered this. Uh, there might be a couple more angles we can hit this from. So I can give accident reports to everybody, but am I supposed to uh, maybe issue some tickets or put some people under arrest here? Because both of them have stuff in their system. Uh, I hope I don't screw this up. Okay. So I am going to give you guys the accident reports uh, because I think that's something I have to do. So here you go. And then let me go give the other person the accident report. But uh, I think pretty much you guys are going to be uh, going to jail for this. Okay, can we search the vehicles? Is that a thing? Oh, here we go. All right, let's go and search the vehicles real quick, see if we find anything. All right, we can pretty much search this whole thing. Like, we need to open up every door. We probably should go over to the driver's side, see if there was anything in there. Okay, so we're searching this other passenger door and... Oh, would you look at that? Yep. All right. Well, somebody's going to jail here. All right, man. We were definitely going to have to uh, handcuff you here. And that's going to be the DUI here. So there we go. So they're under the influence. I don't... I need to check as far as the legal amount of, I guess, drugs that they can have. I'm assuming it's zero, but we'll need to check. Where is she going? She's going to go sit on the curb? All right. And then you, you're going to get handcuffed too. And that's for also for the uh, narcotics. That's the DUI for the cannabis. All right. Uh, both of you people are not fit to drive. Okay, so they're moved to the sidewalk. Let's go ahead and get these things taken care of here. This is cool. Like, how much you get to actually interact here with the uh, accident scene. Okay, Wrecker is on the way for this one. I wonder, are we actually going to see a Wrecker pull up? Or what are we going to do? Also, we'll need to deal with the two on the sidewalk. I don't have a patrol car to actually put them in. Uh, hopefully, we'll have that next video. All right, let's go ahead and call a tow truck in on this one. Nobody's driving home after this. There we go. Okay, and as far as our suspects here, do I need to do anything else with you guys? Remove handcuffs, search. Okay, so let's call for arrest transport. There we go. And we're going to have everybody here. All right, and let's go ahead and call a transport for this suspect. There we go. Also, I hear the tow truck going. It, can I go see it? Uh, oh, look. There it is. Holy man. Wait, what the heck? Uh, this is some advanced stuff. We got both wreckers here on the scene. All right, so whoa. I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle towed like that, but you know what? I'll take it. This is so cool. So, yep, tow trucks are taking care of this. The accident scene's almost cleared. Like, this is so cool how much you get to interact with this. This is what makes me excited for the future calls and when we get the patrol car. Okay, there goes that one. Bye, losers. Also, we better wait for the... Oh, here comes the other officer. I guess they're going to come pick up the, uh, the suspects. There we go. Here's the backup. Okay. And I guess we better make sure this is all wrapped up. Hey, look, traffic's clear now. Nice. Okay, he's taking her off over there, and I'm waiting for the other officer to show up and pick up this suspect. Ah, look who just arrived. So, they, yeah, they actually pulled up in the van here. All right, so they're going to get that suspect, and boom. So I got negative points. What was that for, though? Like, what did we do? Hold on, let's go next page. Where's my negative points at? Uh... Unjustified vehicle search. Kind of weird I got an unjustified vehicle search there whenever they tested positive for drugs and they were in an accident. 
So I'll have to go over that. That seems a little little sus there. I mean, there was a definitely a rest there because they were both under the influence, correct? Okay, so apparently I have a couple things to learn there. It's a little strange. I figured we did everything pretty legit there, but apparently we did not. I'll have to read about that. But for the most part, we've had a uh, decent shift. Just give you guys an idea as to like what we're going to be doing here. So if you guys want to see more of this, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully we will have the patrol car by the next episode. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time.